Working a seam is quite the art. Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying right. to start from one side and then go to the other side, incrementally raising it. Now clamps are usually, uh, you might use need to have clamps every now and then depending on uh, how it's all feeling. You also want to make sure that you're never walking away from a seam for more than an hour because the seam can inadvertently shift on you so you want to make sure that you are uh, double checking your seam and never walking away. You're using the razor blade like a trowel. So the idea is, is you're trying to make sure that you're identifying all the high spots by using the razor blade and sliding it back and forth because if there's one side that's higher than the other the razor blade will hit the high side and that's an indication. Also using your fingers can be another way but your fingers tend to get quite goopy but sometimes the feel of your finger also is a way of indicating whether you have a high spot or a low spot. You can't necessarily always trust the razor blade touch is always the best. So now typically when we do our seams, because this is a two-man operation, it's always nice to have your uh, other installer double check your work because you only get one chance to get a seam right. And so it's always good to bring in your second body and get him to double check to see that he's okay with the way that the seam is. And if there's any fine adjustments that need to be done, he can do those finer adjustments. The reason being for this is because your fingers tend to get sensitized that it won't actually tell you what you need it to tell you. So a fresh set of eyes and an extra set of fingers uh, are, are not going to be having the sensation and it gives you a good clean starting point. Filling your front edge is also really important so you're troweling it on to make sure that all your gaps are filled. And especially around where your hook is, you want to make sure that you've got a nice good clean hook without having a lot of glue left on the surface of the counter. So once you've satisfied that it is where it needs to be, then you're going to take your razor blade again and you're going to remove any excess of glue that's on the sides of the seams, which helps to improve the speed of cleanup. You don't want to touch the seam. You want to be slightly further away, but you're just removing excess, which reduces the amount of acetone that you need to, do, to use in order to clean up your seam in the final portions of the install.